What's up, Fuller High School? I'm Riley Classel. And I'm Isaac Reynolds. And you're watching the Lion Pride News. Now to your prize patrol. <laughs> Take a look at all of our positive behavior referrals for this month. LJ, you got two positive behavior referrals, so come get a picture and a pin. Yeah, get a picture from Miss Cody. Right. Uh, okay, and look, so you guys got these because Brett, you won't pick up trash and clean up someone's room. And Faith, you have pos you're positive and participate every day, and you treat others kindly and make coming to work enjoyable. Awesome. Those are great. Uh, is there an Aubrey and Hayden? Hayden? Yeah, can you guys come to the front real quick? Because you both got a positive behavior referral. And you each get a pin. Can we get Nicholas to the front? Yeah, Nicholas. Because you want a PBR, a positive behavior referral. Riley? Yeah, Riley. Because you won not one, but two positive behavior referrals. Can we get Bella to the front? Bella? Let's go, Bella. Come on. Because you want a PBR. Yeah. Betty. Yeah, you win a prize. Because you got a PBR, so come on. Yeah, there you go. Can we get Bailey to the front? Because she won a positive behavior referral. Yeah, come on, you was in you won. Because you, you got a positive behavior referral. Yeah. Here, yeah, you get to pick out a pen. And you get a photo from this guy. Cause you got a positive behavior for us. Sophia, are you here today? You won. What? Yeah. You won a prize because you got a positive behavior for us. So. Can we get Travis to the front? Travis, cause you won a positive behavior for us. Kaiki? Yeah, that's you. Come up here, man. You won a prize. Yay! Round of applause. Come on. For your positive behavior referral. So get one of these. Get one of these. You got a positive behavior referral. So. And then you gotta take a picture with this. <laughs> Marilyn in here? Marilyn? Oh, you want a positive behavior referral? Round of applause. There you go. And then you got you. time we've no control if the sky is pink and white if the ground is black and yellow it's the same way you showed me not my head no. now on to the band segment with Kesh hey guys it's Kesh and today we're here with Mr. O'Kane Mr. Samuel mm -hmm. okay so Mr. O'Kane, Mr. Samuel, these guys are the band directors at Foley High School. If you guys don't know, be sure to say hi whenever you see them. Okay, so Mr. O'Kane, Mr. Samuel, what is the band currently doing right now during marching season? Well, right now, we, uh, we've we been working for a while uh, dealing with halftime, right? That's a very labor-intensive process. We started in July, uh, started learning the music, learning like their spots where they are on the field, and um, trying to get that fully cleaned up so that we can have the full product ready for Friday night half times. And then of course, getting ready for, you know, assessments, contests and whatnot. Anything from you, Mr. Samuel? Oh, the, everything that Mr. O'Kane said. Um, they've had the music for a while. Um, and yeah, we're, we're perfecting our craft because uh, when we go and play in front of judges, we want to put on our best, um, our best performance um, mm -hmm. to represent both. So would you guys say you're finalizing everything in a sense? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. What about like um, upcoming events, um, things we should look out for? Well, it's about to get pretty busy for us in the next couple of weeks. Um, of course, we've got a game uh, this Friday. And uh, let's see, what's today? So next week. Next Tuesday, we've got the Baldwin County Band Jamboree, which is where every band in Baldwin County 
get together in one place and we you kind of perform your show for each other because we never get to see what the other people are doing. We're always standing on the sideline or in the end zone. Mm -hmm. uh, and then uh, the next weekend, we've got to travel to Rehoboth High School, High School. for our first uh, little contest of the year where we'll actually have judges in every caption. There's color guards, there's wind, there's drums, there's everybody uh, kind of dissecting what we do and you know, essentially giving us scores on that. Mm -hmm. And then um, the week after that, It'll be uh, Troy University that Saturday, October 5th. Um, also, my alumni school. Um, we'll be performing our, our final um, competitive um, show at Troy University. So it should be lots of fun, lots of bands. Um, and then the students will actually get to see um, some college bands actually perform, especially at Troy, because we've had a lot of graduates from Foley um, that are now marching with the Sound of the South marching band. So um, students will actually get reunited and actually see them perform in a, on a college level. You guys excited for that? Very. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's kind of a, it's a good time whenever we get to this part of our season because uh, I think of it kind of as a payday. It's the end of something. The, the kids have been building up this tension for a long time, getting ready for that. And this is kind of like uh, them taking, kind of like a final exam, you know, but mm -hmm. they, they literally are going to have people dissecting everything they do. It's like a reward. Exactly. Mm -hmm. It's like a reward. Okay, so what about like band hype? What do you guys do? Like, do you guys have like an off season or anything like that? <sighs> yes, no? Now, off seasons don't exist. Uh, Sometimes the community think that thinks that uh, just because football is over that the band just doesn't do anything. Uh -huh. So we're actually busier in the spring than we are in the fall. What do you fall guys is a lot easier. What do you guys do in the spring? Okay, so the band gets split into a lot of groups at that point that all work independently. So we'll have uh, different concert bands. You know, we've got a symphonic band, a wind ensemble. We have percussion ensembles. The steel band is still going on. Our color guard with the flags and stuff, they go into a full competitive circuit between Mississippi, Alabama, and Florida. And they're competing, like trying to meddle in this stuff. And it gets very, pretty intense for them as well. Um, all of that in addition to... We got jazz band. We have jazz band going on. Jazz band going as well. Um, there's some students that participate in honor bands um, where there's Alabama All-State where they're pretty much the best of the state of Alabama. Alabama uh, district, district honor band. Um, there's all county honor band um, just around the county level. Um, so there's, there's, there's lots of stuff. So we're, we're really spread out in spring. Mm. Big time. Okay, well, all the best to all the upcoming contests. Whatever you guys have going on in the future, make sure to come out and support. And that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for having us. Absolutely. Hey guys. Hola. <laughs> now on to your Mexican candy review. Hey, Foy High School, today we're reviewing some Mexican candy. We have De La Rosa Mazapan y Cucharita. <laughs> and I'm here with... Shimon Patel. Tell us what we're doing oh. today. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, really? Which one are you trying first? I'm going to try the De La Rosa first. Uh, let's get that. Whoa! Very peanut buttery. It's like peanut brittle, but mashed up. Very good. I give it a 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Okay, so now we have cucharita. How much again? 2,000 years later. <laughs> Ooh, so this one looks definitely watery. Yummy! Looks like we have some mango, and then we have some tahin. On the side, this is the mixture, definitely. So now, um, I'm going to turn this one off. So, what are we reading? Really? Interesting. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure. I really like this one, but it's definitely interesting. So I'll give it. Okay, now we're here with. 
Xavier. And he's going to be trying the masapan first. So what do we do next? Oh my god! <laughs> Okay, after that incident, now he's gonna be trying cucharita. <laughs> For this one, you gotta really get into it. That's um very has a little bit of a savory taste in it. I really like it. You can definitely taste the mango mm -hmm. and the other flavors. So, what do we rate it? Mm. 5.5 out of 10. Oh, okay. Yeah. Thank you. That's it for your Lion Pride news. Hope y'all have a great day. And go, go Lions! Please stand to recite the Foley High School Creed. I am a Foley Lion. I will stand for honor, integrity, and pride. I will serve with strength and courage. I will own the path to my future. I will hold myself to a higher standard. I will strive for excellence in all I do. This is my oath. This is my pledge. I am a Foley Lion.